We got to get you on a uh, on a ride along in an episode of uh, Along for the Ride. I watched some of those. That was, uh, that, that might be fun. It, I think it would be. Good job. Pa. His name is Kilo or Kilowatt. Now my turn. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go? Yep. I'm from Chicago. I moved to Utah to go to Utah State University. Um, I did track and field up there. I've worked at Any Hour for a year. Throughout the interview process, I kept meeting people and managers who genuinely seemed like they really liked their job. This first job is a furnace tune-up on one unit, and it looks like it's about 18 years old, 17. This is the perfect time for my ride along because fall is my favorite season, my birthday is in the fall, and this is usually when I am outside the most. Ooh, we're gonna get close to the mountain. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm Carly, are you Ben? Yeah. Nice. And like, it tries to like, brush it over. Oh yeah, it's just like coming on and off and on and off. Your thermostat noticed that your furnace shuts down within 15 minutes of heating. Okay, that's thanks for taking a picture. That's really helpful. We'll check it out. It's just in here. Oh, it's so behind the door. Okay, yeah. sweet. Okay, let's see here. Hundred and thirty one and seventy one. So it's fifty degrees difference. This little guy is the inducer motor. Checking the amps. It's this little part tells the system keep going with the gas or put the gas out. And the one on the other side is the igniter. That's what keeps turning orange. It gets up to like fourteen hundred degrees or something. And then when the gas crosses, it lights. Yep, C is 2.1, 2.3, so the flame sensor's still good. I like to take videos so I can show the customer. Check this out. That font is definitely old school. <laughs> Not 17, 27. It's had a double life. There we go. The reason it's turning off is it's overheating. The air going in is 73 degrees and the air coming out is about 133 degrees. And that's a 60 degree difference. But I swapped the filter and it stopped doing it. It's close, it's like 58 degrees difference. And then there's the wheel, this is the fan. And it's collecting dust, again, 27 years worth yeah, of dust. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I'd like to know what a new furnace would cost. Just Any hour teaches us it is always up to the customer what they choose to do. You just give them the options. They're wondering if an installation supervisor could come after 6 p.m. today. Hi, Sid. What's up? Um, I need to go to the supply house to pick up the part for Sylvia. I can just put a little note in here. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Dispatch is awesome. They make my job so much easier. I'm not stressing about the next place I gotta go. It's really nice. As long as you give them enough information so they can do their job, they love you. Be nice to dispatch, they'll be nice to you. You see the flame sensor? Yes, it's like the really long one that has a 90 on it. Yay, flame sensor, check. We're gonna go put it into a house that I did a tune up on yesterday. She decided to proactively replace this flame sensor um, so that she didn't have a breakdown later this year. I think we're gonna park here. Hi! 
Hi, Sylvia. I picked this guy up on the road. He's following me around now. <laughs> He's documenting her work? He is. Yep, that's the same one. This one has been sitting in the flame since 2011. Nice, look at that. 3.8, 3.7, 4 sometimes. That means the new flame sensor is reading super well. All right. How did your salsa turn out yesterday? That was good. Good. You added the cilantro. Yeah. Like you, <laughs> that's good. That's way good. If you have anything go on with your furnace um, during the winter, obviously call us your VIP member. So now that we've been a little bit more proactive with the flame sensor, and you should be good. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, Sylvia. Have a good winter. So we finished swapping out the flame sensor, and I am gonna pull my next call. And we'll see where we're going. So just pulled up the next job and we're gonna go do a furnace tune-up on a 10 plus year old furnace. But there aren't really any notes, so I'm just gonna go check it out. Do you wanna come with me? We knock twice, and then we ring the doorbell. I'm at Jane's house, and I've knocked a couple times and rang the doorbell, but I, no one's coming to the door. Let me call her real quick. She just uh, had a family emergency. I'm gonna move this, and then I'm gonna put another job on here. So just hang tight, okay? okay? All right, cool, we'll just hang out for a little bit. So they're gonna find us another call, and then we will head there. We are going to a house that is less than like 10 miles from my house, five miles from my house. Okay, sweet, dispatch. We're going to do a furnace tune-up. Looks like the furnace is older than 10 years. We've been here for an air conditioning tune-up and some sort of excavation or digs issue a couple years ago. We'll just go check it out and see what she's looking for. Are you Yvonne? Hi there. Oh, good. He said, Tiny is coming in. She said, I told you she's a girl. And I said, Oh, and she is awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so nice of them. Do you play? Oh, I play at it. When it's wooden, it's marimba. If it's metal, it's xylophone. Oh. Oh, am I get oh I'm going to try it. Okay. Yeah. That's so, that's such a beautiful sound. Yeah. That's beautiful. Beautiful. You have like really interesting instruments in your house. Well, if you live old enough, long enough. <laughs> but but it came funny. across the plains. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> if if we're working on the furnace and you start playing, I'll be like, you know, this is the best house I've been to all day. I don't think your furnace is very old. Do you, do you know how old it is? You, you said at the door that you thought it was old. Well, let's see how long have I lived here. Oh, wow. Well, your furnace is from 2004, but it's probably the best looking furnace I've ever seen from 2004. <laughs> I could eat off of that. <laughs> how often do you get it checked? Once a year, or twice a year. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. That's a good maintenance. <laughs> Need this. That's a 4.8 out of 5. That looks good. This there's a little startup capacitor. It's 4.8 out of 5, which is pretty close. So far, so good. Do I need to get a duster or anything? Not yet. This is the cleanest thing I have seen in months. 
Well, you have a good subject there. You'll have a good film. <laughs> Come on. Sit down and be comfortable. Let's see here. This has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I am glad. Would you like a fat boy? Oh, <gasps> from Logan? Yes, those are made up there. It's one that I took out of my suitcase this morning. <laughs> Clean. That's perfect. Oh, thank you. And should I put stars? Meaning I'm sure. <laughs> See, we need five. Oh, okay. I think I better take a picture of that and send it to my boss. I'll be like, does this count as five stars? Okay. Have a good one. I see you as being president of the company someday. Thank you. I appreciate that. Did you get that on film? I'm going to be the president someday. That's so cute. She was so nice. She said she had a great time with us. I got five stars the old fashioned way. I uh, got a customer to book a tune up and she promoted me to president of any hour. Yep. And she gave us ice cream. That's, that's the best call. She's clearly had bad experiences and I want any hour to be not only a good experience, but the people that she's like, oh yeah, I'll call them back a bunch of times. So. That's, it's more worth it to do that. See, he's looking out the window. He sees us. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Well, that's a day in the life of a tech at any hour. See you later.